I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members for your continued support. Thank you. And consider joining today for added perks and exclusive content. Hello and welcome, I'm Berta Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Iguanas. Released in April of 2022, this is a brand new figure starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. It is a core class figure and it retails for approximately $10. So here we have Iguanas packed in his new legacy style packaging right here. Really love that we're getting a new Iguanas. Iguan I love the Pretender Iguanas. I don't have a Pretender Iguanas. I really want one, but I love that character and I love that toy and uh, really want one. So I'm excited to get a new modern version of it right here. So we can see Iguanas right there in his window packaging. We got some artwork of him up here at the top in his motorcycle mode. Legacy logo there, Transformers logo here, Legacy logo right there again. Over here on the side, we've got that splash where we can see Megatron and a couple of the other Decepticons. And again, very cool what they've done here. If you take an Autobot and a Decepticon box and you put them together, you get a little bit of artwork right there. Very, very cool. On the other side of the packaging, we've got artwork of Iguanas right there in his, uh, looks like his beast mode, not, yeah, his beast mode or his pretender shell mode, uh, shooting some laser eyes right there. And then along the back, we've got uh, the product shots of Iguanas, both in his robot and in his vehicle mode. If my ring light will be nice enough to let me show it off. There you go. 15 steps to transformations. Hot Rod was only eight. This one is 15 steps. So that is about it for the packaging. Let's get him opened up and check him out. And here we have Iguanas in his motorcycle mode. Absolutely loving this motorcycle mode. It is approximately three and a half inches long, about two inches tall. So it's a little massive. Uh, and in contrast to the other core class figures, uh, kind of huge, <laughs> you'll see that in just a moment. As you can see here, I've done the impossible and actually made him stand by himself. Don't expect that to happen again, but he does roll really nicely. You can actually roll him across the table. And as long as he stays up, if you if you push him hard enough and you give him enough speed, you can actually get some distance with this guy. Of course here, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of, there you go. I got a little bit of distance there, but if you like you, if you do this on the floor and just kind of give him a good push and get some good velocity on him, you can get some good distance on him absolutely loving that motorcycle mode this guy pulls a cycle from gobots in all the best ways it's really really neat um you can see if you know what you're looking for you can see the robot all over this motorcycle but again it's such a unique design that whole kind of a like a robotic reptile kind of a theme to it that it actually also does a really good job of blending in like it's supposed to look that way uh, i don't know to me this just looks fantastic i absolutely love this motorcycle mode and i think it does a really good job of uh, of being a motorcycle absolutely love it now he did come with this little weapon right here um and i don't know what to think of this you know it's got a little peg right here it's got a bigger peg on this side uh, and then he's got a see-through hole right there. Kind of like if you remember Bulkhead had a see-through hole. I really don't know what that's going to be all about. But you can mount it right here. And because it's such a weird uh, motorcycle, it works. Um, you know, it doesn't really, I don't think, detract from the motorcycle mode itself. I told you it wasn't going to stand again. But uh, they anyway, there you go. Um, it would be nice if I could get him to stand again. So, I, ooh, I did it. <laughs> don't breathe. Let's do a couple of comparisons. I don't know why I'm whispering. Here he is with his wave mate, uh, Hot Rod. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, yeah, absolutely enormous compared to the other core class figures. This is a motorcycle. That's a car. Come on. That's just, it's ridiculous, right? <laughs> so there you go. That's what the two of them look like together. Here he is with Optimus Prime. One more time. Uh, a motorcycle that is twice the size of a truck. So there you go. And <laughs> finally, he is with Megatron. So you can see what the two of these guys look like together. And again, absolutely enormous uh compared to a tank it's it's just crazy that way but it is what it is i guess that's what engineering called for right there yeah, he fell over i knew he would i don't know what i was thinking uh thinking that i was going to get him to stand twice um or more than twice in one video <laughs> i'm lucky i got the second one all right getting in the transformation uh let's go ahead and start back here at the back of the vehicle pull the feet these are going to be the feet. These are actually clipped into the wheels right there. So just pull these off. 
and then the thighs are also tabbed into the side of the tail right here. Don't do like I did. Make sure that you pull these out first and then straighten out the leg. Don't do like I did and try to straighten this out while it's still tabbed in and then twist the heck out of your tab right there. Don't do what Bert do. Okay, so <laughs> bring your feet forward, straighten these out, and then turn the legs around at the knee. Straighten out the foot, turn it around, and turn the whole shin around at the knee. Uh, we can take this back wheel here. It's on a ball joint right there. Move it off to the side. Take the entire upper or lower body right here and just kind of turn it around like that. Okay, let's work on the front of the motorcycle. We're going to take the hands right here, pop these off from the front wheel, bring these out, and then you can straighten the arms out like so. Yep, that's right. And then we're going to bring, eh, we can go ahead and bring the arms down like this. Let's focus on the back of the motorcycle here, on the back of the robot here for just a second. Let's bring that up some. All right, so what you're going to do here with the wheels is you're going to bring this wheel on this ball joint to this side. You're going to bring this wheel on this ball joint to that side. Take the front of the motorcycle here, the little wind scoop or the windscreen. Untab this, bring it up and over. It is tabbed into these two slots right here. And this is going to double hinge or come all the way back. Is it? No, it's going to double hinge all the way back like this. Now there's, th these are kind of hard to see when you're doing it, but there are tabs back here or slots back here on the wheels. And there are tabs on the back of this windscreen. So when you're bringing these down, let's make sure that I got this right. I think I got these backwards. There we go. And that does not look right. What am I doing wrong? I'm forgetting something here. I'm doing something wrong. This shouldn't be, these wheels should be um, level. <laughs> I don't know. What, what did I just do? That's weird that it looks that way. Let me see. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look right. I've done, I've done something wrong. I've goofed. Oh. I've got them on the wrong side. So this one goes over here and this one goes over here. There you go. Wow. <laughs> of course, on camera. I've done this like a dozen times. And when I get it on camera, I get all mixed up and confused. All right. So there you go. So you see how those two slots are now uh, up and down right there. So again, you got these two tabs here on the back of this windscreen. So when this whole thing comes down, you're going to tab that windscreen into those wheels. That's going to secure them in place. And there you go. There is Iguanas in his robot mode or in his beast mode. You know, whichever you want to call it. Of course, Iguanas originally being a pretender, this would have been his shell. This is what the shell would have looked like. And then an actual robot would have popped out of the shell. We're not getting that here. I kind of wish, you know, I, I've said it a bunch of times. I wish they brought um, our pretenders back. This is not what I meant. <laughs> I want actual pretenders. Bring them back. But uh, this is still really cool. Nonetheless, the robot mode stands approximately three and a half to four inches tall. And the details on this guy are absolutely amazing. Check him out. He looks just like G1 Iguanas. I don't have a G1 Iguanas. He's on my short list. I've been wanting to get one forever. I was hoping to find one at TFCon. I did not. But uh, I so unfortunately, I don't have a G1 Iguanas to compare him to. Just going all the way around. Absolutely love the way this guy looks. Articulation-wise, the head can move side to side. I think the head is... Yep, yeah, the head is on a ball joint, but the up and down is just barely happening but it's it's on a ball joint but you can move side to side shoulders are on a ball joint in and out forward backwards all over the place elbows are on a ball joint ball jointed hips ball jointed knees ball jointed ankles so lots of articulation with this guy now you're gonna go ahead and uh, take his weapon and this time we're gonna use the small peg to put that in his hand and there you go iguanas is now armed up and ready for a fight a uh, couple of comparisons once I get him standing straight, here he is with his wave mate, Hot Rod. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And even though in vehicle mode, they really didn't size up, uh, so to speak, uh, they actually look really nice together in robot mode. And I do love all these core class figures in robot mode. They all size up really, really nicely together. Here he is one more time with Optimus Prime. And again, you know, Optimus Prime, just a smidge taller this time around. So, you know, he went from a, a relatively smaller vehicle to a taller robot than him. So... You know, that's pretty cool. That's your, your mass shift <laughs> right there. And there he is with uh, Core Class Megatron, who is completely mistransformed. Ah, I'll fix him later. There you go. So you can see what the two of them look like 
together. So there you go. Core class iguanas. Absolutely loving this dude. Really fun figure. I've had him on my desk. I know it didn't look like it during the transformation sequence, but I have been <laughs> fiddling with him all week. Really fun little figure. Absolutely love it. Um, I do love that, they're sh uh, that they are showing love, or I appreciate that they're showing love to the Pretender characters. Uh, that's just one step closer to actually bringing the actual Pretenders back. I hope, fingers crossed, who knows. But I think that about does it for the Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. I also now offer channel memberships. If you're so inclined to do either one of those, I would greatly appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.